Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms Beekeeping and Horses Channel. Okay, what I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to go through these videos, and uh, I put the supers on. Have you seen that video? I put the supers on. They weren't real big and strong. I used some of the old the dead outs from over the winter. Some of these deep, were, some had full frames, half frames, three-quarters frames of honey. I used those for my supers this year. I'm just going to use my deeps. And we're going to see if they're starting to fill out some of these boxes, what they're doing. And my main concern is what they're doing in the bottom box. I put the queen excluder on because all the bees were in one box. So I know she's down there. I want to see what they're doing, how they're growing. Just kind of, I haven't been in here for a couple of weeks, so I got to just get in here. And there's really not a whole lot to do, but just kind of let them go right now. And then that other hive, I'll do a separate video on that. That weaker hive, if it's still queenless... If they haven't made a queen, there's nothing going on, I'm going to combine it with somebody else. That'll be a different video. So we're going to go through this, these two really quick, and see what they look like inside. The smoker's lit, and here we go. All right, so I'm going to try and do this without my veil or my jacket. We'll see how it goes. And let me grab my gloves just in case. They were a little angry last time. I'd much rather do this without wearing anything, but we'll see. Let's see what's going on down below really quick. Morning, girls. Well, they got this lid stuck down pretty good. That's always a good sign that they're doing something. Well, there's a lot of bees up in there. Well, that's good. Like I said, we want to just see what's going on down below. It's heavy. Well, that box is heavy. <laughs> Die on me now. There's brood, there's larva. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not gonna really get too much into these. Larva, brew, that's good. I don't wanna mess with them too much. I just want to kind of see what they're doing, cover them back up. The main thing is I see brood, I see larva, I see eggs, good. They're slowly growing, there's nectar in there. That top box I just pulled off is really heavy. This was what, the fourth frame. You always want to put your frames back too, the way they were. This was the fourth one, so...
a lot of brood in there, a lot of larva. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone, close them back up. I should look for the queen, but I know they're doing something in here, so. They're not growing very fast. And it's really not time for a second box yet. I like to get a good four or five frames. We're at one, two, three, four. I'd like to have a couple more frames filled out before I would put another box on, so I'm not going to. Put the excluder back on. There's a lot of bees. This is heavy. There's a lot of weight to this box, which is good. Oh, come here. You know, I hate when you move this stuff and it slides on you. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. You go to push it and it grabs <clears throat> because of the propolis. That's it, girls. I'm leaving you alone. Just want to do a quick check. Looks good. Get over here to the next one. Let me grab my hive tool. I think I got stung. All right, let's get in here and see what we got going here. Here again, nothing fancy. If I see if I see eggs and brood, cap brood, I'm just leaving them alone. Obviously she's in there, so one of these days when I feel like spending more time. It's pretty hot out right now. Fortunately it's cloudy and cool. Well, it's cloudy, so I'm not a big fan of doing this in the blazing sun. I don't like doing that. <laughs> but a good time I like to inspect is in the middle of the, you know, late mid, mid morning, especially this time of year, the forages are all out early. So but I don't like doing this when it's really freaking hot out. And it's been like that last few days, so. Okay. Whoa, I got some good weight. It's pretty heavy. I'm gonna pop this off carefully. Set it right there. We'll go through here really quick to see what it looks like. And you can see there's probably what? One, two, three, four. It's just just a strange year. Last year was strange. This year started out weird, losing what I lost. And let's just see if we got what's going on in here. There's a bunch of cap brood and larva in there. Not a bunch, but they've got a nice pattern here. Brood here, pollen on the outside. Oh, here, this is what we want to see right here. 
I'm not going to go really probably any farther than this frame here if this looks like what I think it looks like. That's what you want to see. Lots of cap brew. So this hive is going to take off soon. Would help. There's some drone comb on there. There's some weird comb in there, but I'm just going to leave them alone. There's brew. Oh, there you go. That looks good. This is kind of weird. How they're doing that. There's some drone cone. I don't see any, any queen cells, so that's good. This frame here is filled out. So this hive is almost, see that? Another week or so, I am going to put a second deep on them. But they're not moving. They're kind of much over here. They're not really going this way too much, but I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm not going to mess with them too much. Put the excluder back on. No point looking for the queen. We know she's in there, obviously. This box is really heavy. So they're filling this out good. Cover her back up and we're good. Real quick and easy. <clears throat> Alright, so that was good. Oh good, I got battery left. I went to bring a battery out here with me. An extra one in case this one dies. And I forgot to plug in my other charger. So the battery I walked out here with was, was completely dead. So I put this one back in and there's still some life left on it. So that's good. Always check your camera before you walk all the way out here. <laughs> Anyways, they look good. They're growing. Not as fast as I'd like. I'm not going to be a whiny American like some people, like this one guy likes to call me. He says, all Americans, you guys just whine. Well, I was kind of complaining about the weather. Who doesn't complain about the weather when it's kind of lousy out? So I'm not going to be a whiny American here. Um, if, if he's watching, I'm not whining. I'm just saying the weather has not been that great. Finally, it's been warm now. The last few days have been hot and humid. The, bu the, the bugs, <laughs> the uh, bees are out flying. They're finally growing. There's a lot of larvae. There's a lot of cat brood in there in these two hives. So maybe another week or so. I like to go four, five. Well, no, five, six, maybe seven frames. Then put another one on. Because then they want to start going up and keep going this way. So I'll probably another week. We'll see what that looks like. Probably throw a second deep on the two suit. The two deeps that I'm using as supers this year above the excluder are pretty heavy, so that's good. They're filling them out pretty good. I can't remember how, remember how heavy they were when I put them on, but there's some weight to them. So as they fill them out, I'm just gonna do it. Throw another one on top. See what kind of honey I get this year. It's just been really kind of a weird year. Started out discouraging when you lose them, uh, but these two are doing really good. So anyways, that's it. Just wanted to check these. I wanted to see what they were doing. I feel weird like I'm, like I'm neglecting my bees. I haven't been out here much to do anything. I've had other stuff going on, mowing pastures and stuff. But, I mean, there's really nothing to do. They're in there. They're working. you got the supers on. I am going to go through that other hive. That'll be a separate video. If that thing is not, if there's nothing going on in there, I'm going to combine it with uh, probably, probably this one. This one was a little weaker than that one. Uh, just dump all them bees in there so I don't lose them all and go. But maybe there's a queen cell. I'm hoping there's a queen cell, or I'm hoping they made a queen on their own, which would be great. So, anyways, that is it for now. Hopefully you liked the video, and I will see you guys really quick in the next beekeeping video. And watch for the horse ones, too. I made some really cute little YouTube short videos, actually, too. So check them out. All right, talk to you later. Bye.